Welcome to our UCLA Extension Department of Business Management and Legal Programs a video lecture series on entrepreneurship, new venture formation, and strategic business plan development. The video that you are about to watch is an introduction to how to develop your market niche strategy, which is basically a narrative description of your mission statement. <clears throat> There is a total of over 40 videos in this lecture series that all integrate with our UCLA Extension online course management program, Canvas. Each video strives to be brief and will have a little overlap with each other to tie our curriculum together. Okay, let's get started. Our first slide um, shows a gentleman playing chess. And chess is all about strategy in many ways, and it's a very you know, complicated game at, at times to work towards getting uh, into a, a checkmate or avoiding being checkmated. <clears throat> but still, it requires much intuition, peering into the future in terms of setting the scene to, um, uh, to capture market share, if you will. And so the, the fundamental objective <clears throat> of our market niche strategy is, the, is a detailed understanding of our mission statement, a narrative description, if you will, of our mission statement. Our mission statement is a law. Uh, it wants to be very brief. Uh, ideally, no more than two sentences. The first sentence states, what are we selling and uh, to whom we're selling, period, and then ABC Company will differentiate itself in the marketplace by. So it wants to be so brief and easy to understand if someone, you know, sticks a gun in your face in a dark alley and says, recite your, your mission statement, you should be able to do it. I believe statistically less than 45% of CEOs can actually remember their mission statement. Uh, and it's very easy to, you know, write it in a very flowerly way that's really a marketing brochure and it's not really pinning down what are you selling, to whom you're selling, and what makes you competitively different. The mission statement used in a business plan or in an uh, from a leadership standpoint wants to be written like a law, like a, like a commandment, like uh, one of the Ten Commandment kind of things. So we use the market niche strategy to embellish, to explain the details of the mission statement that we really don't want to put in the mission statement because we want to keep it brief. So in a, you know, in a nutshell, we want to narratively describe our phases of competitive development uh, that explain how we're going to execute the mission statement to achieve the vision of success statement. So in our, in our previous, um, in our introduction to the competitive strategy sections, I shared this, this graph diagram here that shows our, com all our complete strategy can be uh, uh, diagrammed with this, this ball, this circle that on the um, right side we have our internal management strategy and on our left side we have our external management strategy. So our market niche strategy is basically taking the phases of competitive development that are outlined on our internal um, uh, management strategy uh, and, and, and narratively described in our external market niche strategy on how we're going to organize ourselves to, uh, to uh, build our business, then to pursue our vision of success statement um, in the marketplace. So it, it simply stated, and we're going to go step by step on how to develop a market niche strategy, but it's a narrative description of our phases of competitive development. Um, our, uh, the fundamental objective, and I've already stated this, the fundamental objective of the market niche strategy is to explain how the mission statement is going to um, uh, be executed to achieve our vision of success statement. Um, your, mission your mission statement is, in essence, your market, your, your market uh, n your niche. 
<coughs> your your niche market, and um, and so. Another thing to keep keep in mind too, and I brought the, this slide up before, uh, we want to project a, a basic logic. Uh, there's a there's a fundamental logic when we're building a building. There's got to be a foundation for, for a frame, a frame before uh, you can have a roof, etc. And so our our market niche strategy wants to narratively describe this logic with not, without using the phrase phase one, phase two, phase two. We just want to. You know, narratively describe what's going to take place, but also once we we want to have um, woven into our market niche strategy um, things like our value proposition ladder, how we're the, the little tricks, the strategies we're going to use to market our business, how we're going to capture our client. And this is one aspect of uh, that most businesses overlook, and that's that whole marketing, sales, promotion type process. Because if that's not established, and if that's not part of the execution of your strategy, you can have the best business in the world, concept-wise. But if you don't have customers that are going to hire you, there's no cash coming in, and there's no there's no there's no way you're going to grow as a business, and 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 hence probably you'll fail. So woven into our market niche strategy is also um, the uh, techniques we're going to use, and I can sometimes refer to it as a mousetrap, but our market development techniques we're going to use to capture customers. Okay, so now we're going to go over the basic simple steps on how to develop a market niche strategy. Step one, narratively describe your phases of competitive development so it reads as one paragraph. First we're going to do this to achieve this plateau, this objective, and then we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this with a narrative description on what we're going to do sequentially to execute the mission statement to achieve the vision of success statement. And it wants to read really smoothly. and and. And it's something that, a, a little tip here, by taking the completed market niche strategy and making an MP3 recording and putting it on your, your, your smartphone and with, with earphones listening to it over and over and over again, um, there's an area of psychology called neuro-linguistic programming. And the more we burn the narrative description of our strategy into our head, over and over and over again, uh, like a like an athlete training a particular football uh, play or a basketball offense or, or defensive play, the more likely you are to instinctively know what to do once you actually you know the gun goes off and you start your business. So keep in your mind that the market niche strategy can be used as a form of mental programming if it's written well. Um, uh, uh, by making a recording of it and listening to it over and over and over and over and over and over again, it becomes a subconscious programming. Uh, and hence, uh, you will instinctively know what to do as you do it. And if something changes, you're able to you know, adjust on the fly. Whereas if you didn't understand the market niche strategy in this kind of way, you might have to go back to the drawing board or be just, you know, caught off guard and, and not know what to do, which would be which would be awful. You wouldn't want that to happen. Step two, integrate into this paragraph key words from your mission statement and your vision of success statement in terms of what you're selling, to whom you're selling, and what makes you competitively different. So by integrating the es essence of this is the starting point and, uh, of what we're trying to achieve, and this is our end objective, then by, by sprinkling those kinds of words and concepts in this narrative description, it's going to, in essence, bring uh, uh, to life the mission statement as well as a vision of success statement. The third step, uh, the third step uh, is to now integrate into uh, this p uh, paragraph key words that deal with uh, what makes you competitively different. How, uh, how are you going to market, uh, how how your market position strategy is going to capture customers, clients from your competitor. Um, and so here's where we want to take uh, concepts, theories that we've laid out in terms of our value proposition ladder, um, uh, uh, our social networking, 
uh, our market development plan. We want to integrate into that, make sure it's very, very clearly stated the strategy that we're going to use uh, to capture customers. It's got to be, that's an, an, an inherent part of our market niche strategy is in addition to building the, uh, the business like a building, how are we going to at the same time develop the internal resources to capture customers? The fourth step uh, in developing a market niche strategy is to find a graphic image. And this, this, and, and a little fast forward, this gets into our vision of success strategy, which is, which is one of our six strategies of a complete competitive strategy. But to, um, uh, uh, to find an image that portrays the execution of our mission statement uh, from our, or our market niche strategy that the main key thing. So here um, we have an image of, 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 a, of a company's staff, and uh, management and staff, uh, at a trade show, indicating that tr uh, participating in trade shows is key to how they're going to develop relationships with B2B or business-to-business -business, um, uh, 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 relationships uh, with customers. And um, and so that one image, uh, and no doubt, if we you know uh, took this particular company and, and studied its its strategy, that no doubt we would find that trade show participation on a regional, national, uh, international level might be key to how they capture uh, customers or start a relationship with customers. And part of it, they might give free products, free samples, uh, something to give a sense of economic transfer, and then that opens the door for more dialogue, more conversation, because um, uh, 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 the, the potential customer has been, has received something. So there's a sense of wanting to give back and continue the relationship. Um, here's an example market niche strategy, and I'm not going to read this, but I often re use a, uh, an example mission statement called the Wild Oats Bakery mission statement. And I've taken that mission statement and written out a, few, uh, a complete um, market niche strategy in terms of what they're going to do first, second, th third to execute the mission statement to achieve the vision of success statement. So you can you know pause the video and read this, and if you're in... Uh, in uh, the, our, our class, our UCLA Extension course, um, you will also receive a PDF of these slides and you can read it then. But here's an example of a narrative description of the mission statement, uh, the phase of competitive development, executing the mission statement to achieve the vision of success statement. One of the objectives of our market niche strategy, in essence, our mission statement, too, is establish consistency. And as we establish consistency, we actually promote what sometimes can be referred to as a harmonic motion, um, you know, a wave motion. So if we're consistently uh, uh, tapping on the market, with our mission statement uh, uh, and, and executing our phase of competitive development, we get a rhythm going and it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And often in terms of the peak of this particular wave, that might symbolize uh, from a startup standpoint, two and a half years being in the business. Because statistically, when we do everything right, it's about two and a half years into an industry where it really starts to take off. So we just want to touch on that. Um, there's a bell up in the upper right hand corner and I often have used and demonstrate in the classroom that if I have a 5,000 pound bell here and it symbolizes the marketplace and I put all my weight into pushing on the bell which is in, uh, in, in essence uh, uh, the, our mission statement point and then as the bell you know moves about a quarter inch and comes back I put all my, my force into it again and as it comes back it might move a half an inch and then three quarters of an inch and then an inch and a quarter and as I keep rhythmically pushing on the bell um, I can get it to swing and and after two and a half hours of pushing on the bell I, I might get the bell to hit the, the ball in the center it goes dong dong 
and everybody can hear the bell donging, and that's where the you know the customers start to come. Well, symbolically, that two and a half hours is actually two and a half years, and that's when the the bell actually this big huge brass bell up in the corner hits the ball in the center, and everybody can hear your mission statement and and, and what you're doing, and that's when your bell your your business really takes off. So the ultimate goal of our market niche strategy uh, and our mission statement is to is to tap the power of consistency. I'll say that again, to tap the power of consistency. Um, uh, verify your market analysis hypothesis as you're executing your, uh, uh, your market niche strategy in the marketplace. You're apps, app, actually uh, putting to application all that you learned when you did your market analysis section of the business plan, market analysis research uh, from the standpoint of mastering entrepreneurship and new venture formation. And as we're executing it, now this is real life time to find out what worked and what didn't work and making the necessary changes to our market analysis to take advantage of the things that we learned from the initial execution of the business. We also want you to be well aware of the, um, uh, the uh, Malcolm Gladwell's uh, tipping point because as we get into the market and start executing our market niche strategy, if we, if we serendipitously speaking stumble across little changes, little, uh, little aspects uh, in the industry where by where we can make a little change to uh, our mission statement in terms of what we're selling and who we're selling, what makes us competitively different, that may create a pandemic in demand for what we're doing. So let's be aware of trends. Markets are changing all the time. We're changing all the time. We're ac acquiring new skills and talents. And by being aware of, of, of these changes, we're better positioned uh, to uh, integrate them into what we're doing and perhaps uh, finding opportunities that we, we, we totally were not aware of um, before him. So, but just know that there's sometimes as much opportunity to be found uh, with the small little changes uh, in the marketplace. Um, right now, I want to watch a, um, a, a video clip here. Uh, that's um, uh, this video clip is of what's uh, uh, a movie that's I think it's a 1970s movie called the, the Dirty Dozen, and I played this in other videos. and the, And the reason why I'm playing this video is this is a uh, a platoon in World War II, and all the uh, men in this platoon were on death row, military death row. So. Um, it's basically a suicide mission. They're going to be airdropped in the middle of Germany and infiltrate a mansion where a party is going on with a bunch of German officers, and they're going to uh, machine gun machine gun them all down. Uh, at least that's the that's the plan. And uh, the commanding officer uh, is going to is um, uh, they're having a uh, a last meal, if you will, uh, before they go on this mission. That they're probably uh, many won't return. And, uh, and, and the reason why I'm showing this is he's taken this strategy of, uh, the, of, this, of this mission and he's, uh, he's uh, uh, developed it into a rhyme, uh, um, uh, a song, and, and everyone in this platoon are going to sing it. In essence, this is a market niche strategy. Everybody knows the strategy narratively. So let's go ahead and watch this. It's about two and a half minutes, and so here we go. Hey, Major! <laughs> what do you think about that one, Major? Huh? Look, I didn't want to tell you guys this before because I thought it might make you nervous. Because after our last little party, the generals were all in favor of sending you guys back to finish your sentences. Or get hung. Or get hung. Or get hung. But I made a deal with him. And knocking off Breed's headquarters is what got you guys off the hook. Hey! You weren't really worried one way or another, though, were you, Major? No, not much you wasn't. <laughs> but we still have one operation to go. If you guys foul up on this one, none of us will ever play the violin again. Because up until now, it's all been a game. But as of tomorrow night, it's going to be the real thing. And if you want to know how real, I'll tell you. It's my guess that a lot of you guys won't be coming back. But there's no sense of squawking about that, right? Because the Army never did love you anyway. 
And besides, you all volunteered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's more than I did. <laughs> Sergeant Byron? Uh, no, no, no. Look, I know we've been over this a thousand times, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong. We've got to be prepared to improvise. So let's see what happens if everything goes right. You ready? All right. One. Down the robot, we've just begun. One. Down the robot, we've just begun. Two. The guards are through. Three. The Major's men are on a spree. Four. Major water slot goes through the door. Five. Think we stay hard in the drive. Six. The Major gives the rope a fix. Seven. Water slot goes the hook to him. Eight. Major has got a date. Nine. The other guys go up the line. Ten. Sawyer and Gilpin are in the van. Eleven. Ozzy guards points five and seven. Twelve. Waterslaw and the Major go down to Dell. And where is Donald Duck? Donald Duck's down at the crossroads with a machine gun. We better not be asleep or we'll all be in trouble, huh? Thirteen. Frank will go duck without being seen. Fourteen. Zero hour. And mayonnaise cuts the cable. Franco cuts the phone. Fifteen. Franco goes in where the others have been. Sixteen. We all come out like this. I guess I'll leave. <laughs> and kill every officer in sight. Odds are there. Well, let's start <laughs> off with Paris, huh? All right, let's take it again from the top without all the ad libs. All right, one. Now that's the whole lot we've just begun. Two. The guards are through. Three. Okay. <clears throat> So that's a classic example of, of a market niche strategy. It's a narrative description of the mission statement. Um, and of course, I'm, you know, I'm uh, anti-guns and, and, and love and peace and all that kind of stuff, so I'm a little embarrassed using a, you know, a war movie. But when I came across this, I just thought, God, what a great example of taking a strategy and then taking, in this case, this is a platoon, but the whole company, this could be a business where everyone in the business recites the strategy and if it's some, if it's done like a song then you know everyone's on board everybody knows what's what's going on and um, can feel more a part of, 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 of what the business is doing um, anyway so let's remember that the fundamental objective of our market niche strategy is to explain how the mission statement is going to be executed to achieve the vision of success statement um, also remember the fundamental objective of your of your competitive strategy is to develop your phases of competitive development that executes your mission statement to achieve your vision of success statement I know I repeat that much but that's the the essence of it Okay, well that concludes our little introduction to how to develop a market niche strategy.